Okay, it's time for a new manipulation. I'm Andre from PSD Box, and today I'm gonna show you how to create this, uh, what I call uh, 2D manipulations or uh, silhouette manipulations. Um, this time I combined it with a real photo of this uh, of the moon, and this is the result that I got. Um, it's a really easy tutorial. You can use any Photoshop versions, uh, version to get this. And on psdbox.com you'll find the links that uh, to the stock and the resources that I used for this. Uh, you can download them for, for free. I hope you will like it and let's get started. So uh, the first thing you want to do is mm, create the canvas. Uh, for this I used the square canvas because I published this to Instagram, uh, even though Instagram now accepts um, landscape and portrait formats. Uh, but I liked uh, this uh, square um, canvas, so that's how I uh, created this. Uh, 2000 by 2000 pixels and click OK. Once you create this, uh, you fill it with black uh, by pressing Alt and Backspace. And uh, the first thing we want to do is add the moon on our image. So I'm going to press Control Command O to open the stock folder, and this is the image that I um, that I used. Uh, this is a picture that I took myself with a, a telescope, and um, I used this because I liked it. And I'm going to place it right here for now, and I'm going to name this layer Moon, and I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to name it um, I'm going to name it Grass. And I'm gonna give it a green color. I never give colors to my layers. <laughs> and on this layer, I'm gonna get the brush tool and, and I will paint the grass here. Um, the brush that I'm gonna use comes with all Photoshop versions. And if you don't see it here, just click here, this um, icon and choose uh, reset brushes. And if you don't have it, it's maybe because you're using a really, really old Photoshop version, but I think all of them have this uh, brush preset. And one thing you need to do is press F5 to open the brushes uh, panel and make sure you uncheck dynam uh, color dynamics because this uh, setting uh, mixes both colors or if you don't want to deactivate that, simply change both foreground and background color to black. And what we're going to do now is we're going to paint the grass over here. But uh, this brush is a bit too big for this canvas size. So I'm going to lower it to, let's say, 90 or 85. And now I'm going to paint here. And I'm going to, instead of painting like freehand, what I'm going to do is press and hold the shift key on the keyboard. And that allows me to create straight lines. So I'm going to just click here and make a few passes like this. Even if I paint here, you can see uh, it's painting on the same line because I have the uh, shift key uh, locked. And now I'm going to move this a bit lower, somewhere here. And I will have to fill this area with black. So I'm going to get the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to create a wide selection like this. And I'm going to fill it with black again. And this is uh, what I got so far. Now, uh, we are ready to add more elements here. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to name it Tree. And here I use the brush from a preset that I downloaded, uh, from a brush pack that I downloaded from, uh, from internet. I don't remember the website, I'll try to find it and I'm, I'm going to put the link on PSD Box. If, you don't f if I cannot find the link, I will give you um, links to other um, uh, resources. Uh, you can just search for PNG trees or stuff like that and um, you can do it that way. If you have Photoshop CC uh, it comes with a tree uh, generator so you just go to filter, render and choose tree and from here you can choose any um, kind of tree that you want. You can change the leaf size, uh, branch height and stuff like that. I'm gonna Create something like this maybe. And I'm gonna click OK. And you can create uh, something like this. And the, the only thing you have to do now is just press Control Command uh, U to open the hue saturation and drop the lightness and probably make it a bit smaller. Like this and place it over there. Uh, with the brush you can do the same. Um, I'm gonna create a new layer and I already have the brush pack loaded here. If you can, if you want to load it, just click this icon and choose load brushes. 
and uh, just look for the file that you just downloaded from the internet if you downloaded um, a brush pack and I think I used this one over here and just, I'm gonna make it smaller and I'm just gonna click once there and that's how I created the, the tree there I'm gonna leave the one that I added with Photoshop I think it's a bit nicer and next we're ready to add our couple there I'm gonna open the stock folder again and this is the image. Uh, this is uh, from Deposit Photo. I'm gonna uh, depositphotos.com. I'm gonna give you a smaller resolution size. If you're a premium member, you can download the PSD file and the full resolution size of this stock images. But I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna give you a smaller resolution size so you can work with. And this is how I extracted the background. We don't need really precise selections because I'm gonna make this really small and we just need the silhouettes uh, of them. So I have a tolerance of 26 and I have the contiguous uh, option checked and just start clicking the background by pr uh, while you have the um, shift uh, key clicked, uh, well pressed, sorry, and that way you can select the background. Now uh, for fine tuning you can use the quick selection tool and press and hold the alt key and just uh, exclude these areas that you don't need from your selection like that okay I'm gonna do it really quick and we need to include this one over here the bottom area is not very important because um, um, they will be in the grass in this part over here so the bottom part of their feet and it's not necessary to have perfect selections there just uh, for the shape i'm going to exclude the area from here as well and here I, I need to use the magic wand tool again and pressing the shift key i will include that area there and we still need to work here and we're done we'll have to include this is important, you have to include this part over here and this one over there. Great, now we can create the layer mask, pressing the shift key and clicking on the layer mask will create an inverted layer mask and the background is gone. Now I'm gonna keep this non-destructive, so I'm gonna select the move tool and click on the canvas and drag this to my other tab and just let go here. And I'm gonna turn this into a smart object just so I can uh, make them smaller and uh, keep the original in there and I'm gonna make it even smaller maybe something like that and another reason why the smart object is good is because now I have to make the silhouette of them using the hue saturation so instead of creating a clipped layer mask uh, instead of creating a hue saturation layer mask and clip it uh, layer adjustment layer sorry uh, I can press the command U and this is now created as a smart filter so I can just drop the lightness and you can see that now I have it as a smart filter so I can open it whenever I want. And that's great. I also added a car over here. And again, here you can use uh, real photos. You can search for uh, PNG car files uh, or just um, uh, take a picture of your, uh, you have yourself and just drop, uh, delete the background. What I did is I used the Pixel Squid uh, plugin. It's a lot easier and uh, the quality of the 3D object is quite uh, impressive and also uh, here we just need a silhouette so uh, let's wait for the uh, Pixel Squid plugin to open. Uh, this is a free plugin, you can download it uh, from the Adobe um, website or from pixelsquid.com, you'll find links there to download it. And these are the 3D objects that I added to my gallery, this is basically um, linking to uh, pixelsquid.com and these are all the objects that I added to my gallery but you can add more and this is the card that I use. I'm gonna click it and it will add it on a new layer as a smart object and I don't need the shadows and I want the higher resolution and I want a, the angle to be different so I'm gonna click and rotate it like this Okay, I can see it starts to, it rendered it on high uh, resolution and now it's just going to render it again to change the position. And I have to make it smaller now. And something like this, maybe a bit bigger. I'm not worrying too much about the proportions uh, because I'm doing it really quick. 
I'm gonna press Control Command U again to open the hue saturation and drop the lightness. And now I have to make the couple a little smaller because it's too big compared to the car. Probably something like this. Or just drop lower the car a bit like that. And there you have it. We're done. Um, probably a smaller canvas size would make a, a bigger impression because the moon would look a bit bigger. But uh, well, that's uh, that's okay how it looks right now. So I'm gonna leave it like this. So this is how you can create uh, silhouette manipulations in Photoshop. Um, as you've seen, it's not really difficult, and I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you publish this to Instagram, use the hashtag PSDbox and we'll be able to see what you've done. So thanks, uh, thanks for watching. I'm Andre from PSD Box and see you on the next tutorial.